cakes, muffins, confectionery, chips or crisp, pretzel, frozen pizza, frozen meals. What if I said that more than half the calories you consume are from ultra-processed food? That's thought to be the case in countries like the UK and the US. Most products sold in supermarkets are ultra-processed, so it's very uh, difficult to avoid them. This is The Food Chain from the BBC World Service. I'm Ruth Alexander, and this week we're asking, is this ultra-processed? It's not always easy to know. In my house, we cook most meals from scratch, so I have presumed that I don't eat much ultra-processed food. But let's see now. I've downloaded an app that says it can tell me how good the nutritional content of a product is and whether it's ultra-processed. So here on the countertop is wholemeal sliced bread. I'm scanning the barcode and the app tells me this is nutritionally very good quality. But oh... It's ultra-processed. Confusing. Right, dark chocolate. An occasional treat. Okay, probably a too frequent treat. Nutritionally bad. That's probably not a surprise. But it gets a green dot telling me that it's not ultra-processed. Mixed messages again. Let's have a rummage in my fridge. Mayonnaise. I had this with my lunch. It's... Ultra processed. Oh, that surprises me. Mustard. Now this, I imagine, it is just processed, not ultra processed. Wrong. What's in mustard? Stabilizer, xanthan gum. What's in my freezer? Fish fingers. I think of this as making a healthy meal. Yep, nutritionally good and ultra-processed. I wonder what's for dinner tonight, then. The app is by Open Food Facts, a non-profit organisation set up ten years ago as an online database of food products. There are more than three million items listed and anyone, anywhere can add a product, as co-founder Pierre Slamish explained to me. So you will take the picture of the ingredient list, artificial intelligence will extract it, and we will recognize all the ingredients. And if we spot some markers of ultra-processing, then the food will be labeled as so. Most products sold in supermarkets are ultra-processed. So it's very uh, difficult to avoid them. We explain in open food fact the ingredient that actually causes the food to be ultra-processed. It's not so clear, even with your app, to work out what is and isn't a good choice, though, I found. For example... The sliced brown bread, wholemeal bread that I'd bought, when I zapped it with the app, it came up as being a very good nutritional quality and ultra-processed. So there's conflicting information out there. So, yeah, it's a big problem because foods that uh, are nutritionally uh, healthy, that don't have too much salt, too much fat, too much sugar, still will have additives. The rule of thumb is to try and get the food if you can't find anything that's not ultra-processed. Try to pick the one with the least amount of additives. As a French person, I would say buy your bread from the boulangerie. But if you go for the supermarket bread, look for the one with fibers and look for the one that have the least amount of additives. I wonder, is there a risk that people get overly and maybe needlessly anxious about what they're eating? I mean, I could have probably happily spent a good couple of hours scanning everything in my kitchen cupboards yesterday. So there's no point in uh, being too anxious about it. Having a moment where, when you realise that a lot of it is ultra-processed and then trying to do your own cooking if possible, uh, trying to stick to the shortest ingredient list possible. So anything above uh, five uh, to ten ingredients is probably um, a bit complicated. And be careful about false friends. Some food will be packaged and uh, marketed as a healthy food, as a authentic food, uh, but sometimes it can hide a UPF. If you don't recognise uh, most ingredients, put it back on the shelf. Pierre Slamiche. So it's unlikely that food and drink manufacturers will be flagging up ultra-processed products anytime soon, and the onus will remain on the individual to spot it. Pierre Slamiche is optimistic, though, that people's buying habits could bring about change. 
In a perfect world, basically, the food would be clearly labeled front of pack, so you would have clear warnings about uh, ultra processed, food. and that's the final, uh, the eventual point of those uh, apps. Uh, it's not uh, basically keeping people captive to scanning products. It's basically changing the formulas of the food offer so that everyone benefits, and that uh, there's systemic change in uh, what we buy in the supermarket. That the default choice in the supermarket become the right choices. We believe that if we mobilize, if we team up together, we can force the industry to actually uh, listen to the public, listen to the government, and it changes uh, the balance of power uh, between the food industry and, and the general public.